Hi and welcome to the Play Android Game Reviews. My name is Daniel and today I'll be showing you Magic Color Balls by Free Game Factory. It's a board game or as close as you can get to a board game on a Android device. So I already started it and here you can see the main menu. We have those six entries right now. Well, continue game, restart game, high scores, help, feedback, and exit. I already played around, so there's this continue game tile coming from. But I'll just restart it. And as you can see, this is how the game looks. We have this board, obviously a pretty fake wood board, and all those colorful balls or pearls or whatever you want to call them sitting in those grooves. You can see they are all shiny and well look pretty but this is all there is because there are actually no further animations, no effects, anything like that. This was just me moving the ball so yeah. As you could see as I move the ball into another ball without there being any kind of space. This is the purpose of the game and as you see I moved one ball and two vanished. This is the purpose to well make all those balls disappear and I can do this by well placing them on one another or while skipping them. This causes them to disappear. The skipped stone disappears, but only if it's the same color as the one you used to skip it. It's a bit confusing at first, I know, but if you want to play the game, you'll get the hang of it pretty quickly. So as you can see, I have skipped a few stones and at the beginning, there are only three colors in the game. It's green, blue, and red. These are the base colors of the game, and you have to work with them. Those colors are the only ones that can be moved. All the other colors showing up later, they're stuck. They're, well, fixed in place. And you saw turquoise showing up, pink showing up, and yellow. Why do these colors appear? Well. Let's say I take this green down here and I skip this middle one green here and I skip right onto the blue, blue one. The skipped zone disappears and the blue and the green combine into turquoise. This means turquoise combines blue and green. Then we have yellow down here. Before it appeared, I skipped with a, I think it was a green one, over another green one, and onto a red one. This is why they combined and combined into green, uh, yellow. Let's see that again. I take the red one here, I skip over the, re the red one in the middle, I go to the green one, and it turns yellow. Well, they combined and turned yellow. And I can do this with blue and red as well. I take this blue one, I skip over the other blue one, onto the red one, the blue one vanishes and turns, well, pink. Blue and red turn pink. And as you might hear, there's always a confirmation sound in the back when I move a stone. This was quite, well, I didn't know what to think about it because at first I thought these are not sounds I'm used to hear in board games or I would associate with board games. It's more like sounds from a shooter or something like reloading sounds I thought at first. So let's see, let's go ahead and you can see those, well, additional colors. And there's one last color, or, well, yeah, color or shade, gray. And we have those turquoise downstairs, uh, down there, and turquoise is only ever green and blue. 
there's no red in it. But what happens if I take this red one, skip the middle red one, and skip onto the turquoise one? It turns gray. And the gray stones or gray balls are those that combine all three base colors. And they, as well, cannot be moved. But I can basically reassemble them. I can take this green one, skip over it, over the gray one, and basically subtract the green from the gray. So, because the green part of the gray one is missing, it turns pink again, because pink only consists of blue and red. So this is basically how the whole game works. And your goal is to eliminate all or as much as possible or as many as possible of those stones you see on your playing board. And down there you can see on the left my score and on the other side those two buttons with the arrows. One is to well, undo your last step and the other is to, well, go back and forth between steps. Then we have the menu button. I'll be showing that later. Let's just keep on playing a bit. And you can see I can, I don't have to put the stones onto another, uh, put the stones onto another stone. I just can occupy a blank field. And as you could just saw I put the blue one from right top over the pink one and it subtracted the blue and the pink one turned into a red one again. And this is necessary because sometimes you just need to move stones around. And as the red one you can move it again. And there's a pink one again. And let's just see how far I can take this. No, Mutu, Mutu. Yeah, this is basically all there is to the game. It's just this gameplay. It's actually quite fun and challenging because there's a lot of strategy involved. What stone do I want to, well, eliminate next and what kind of stone do I want to move next? Because at some point you'll end up with all stones all over the place and you need other stones to move something. So if you don't have anything around one stone in particular, you have no option to move it and the game ends. And if you're out of moves, out of pos possible moves, the round automatically just ends for you. So let's see how I'll... well try to do this. Okay, I can go this way. Can go this way. No. I can go this way. Okay. And you see, I can only make stones of the same color vanish. Let's, there's no blue in this one, so I cannot subtract anything out of it. Let's just pop there and it turns green again. Okay, let's just hit the menu button real quick. And there's an ad zone coming up every time you go back to the menu. Luckily, there are no ads or big ad zones in the game. They only show up in the menu. And as you can see, I could continue. Like I said before, I restart the game. Look at the high score. It's just the game ending screen. And my previous high score is 4,830. And I could go to, and there's an add zone again. Close it. I can go to help. I won't click on this right now or tap on it because it will open in the browser and show you a help site with how to play the game. As I found out, the instructions aren't really that helpful. They need to be worked on more. Uh, most of the game I learned by trial and error. So I don't know if you want to, if you think you need to help, it's nice that it's there, but it should, well, should be worked on. You can actually, well, submit it directly via the feedback button or exit the game. 
everything pretty self-explanatory. Let's just restart the game and look at it again. And I was looking in the Google Play Store for alternatives and there are of course other board games, but I think this one in terms of playing mechanics and gameplay is so far pretty unique. I haven't found anything similar to it yet. But there are of course a lot of other games that look like this. I mean, the graphics aren't really that, well, they're pretty simple, clear, yet simple, but there are a lot of games that actually basically look the same. And, but this doesn't diminish, diminish fun playing this game because it really is fun. It's a challenge, it's, well, it's harder than it looks and take some time and well it's a game to relax sometimes because well it's just moving things no hectic just well playing yeah this is all there is to say about the game there are no additional game modes sadly but well, I don't need any more because the game actually like this is as good as it gets. And if you want to read an in-depth review of it, head on over to the Google, uh, to our site, to playandroid.com. Uh, the link is in the description of the video, as well as the download link of the game, which is as free, uh, free of course. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Try out the game if you like. And... Well, see you next time. Goodbye.